नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर फिफ्टी सम नैचुरल फेनोमिना डे स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ चार्जेस एंड इंटरेक्शन सो हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ चार्जेस विल बी देर and how they will react with each other so this we are going to discuss so there are basically two types of charges one is positive and another one is negative so means like charges and unlike charges okay and these charges interact with each other interaction interaction means what they react with each other and produces the result see let us uh, discuss with the activity so what you have to do here inflate two balloons two balloons you have to take balloon and you have to inflate it or you have to blow it so that after blowing you know that the side becomes the side will be increases the side increases okay hang them in such a way that they do not touch each other so like this you have to hang them in such a way that so they should not meet each other so it will be separate it will be separate okay they should not touch each, each other rub both the balloons with a woolen cloth so what you have to do rub with a woolen cloth so you play two club two balloons rub with a woolen cloth so you have to take the woolen cloth just we have to rub it while rubbing you have to take uh, care that it should not uh, burst out okay slowly you have to rub this both the balloons rub both the balloons with a woolen cloth and release them and leave them so then what do you observe so what is the your observation so from this you will observe that here the second you see this moves away so here they are very close to each other but here it shows it moves away so means what like charges repel each other because we have rubbed both the balloons same cloth or woolen cloth only so same charges may be positive or negative don't know but they move away this observation or we have observed so means that like charges repel each other Okay, now let us repeat the activity with uh, the used pen repeats. So now you have to go for the same experiment, but uh, here you have to take repeat pen repeat. You have to take rub one repeat with the polythene. Okay, polythene you have to take and rub this and place it carefully in the glass tumbler. In the glass vessel, glass tumbler means in the glass vessel. So like this vessel you have to take. And you have to keep this okay. So that is what we are doing the pen, and we are doing here. Okay, got the idea now. So now, glass tumbler using the tumbler as a stand. Rub other repeal. So take the other repeal, and also with polythene. So means that you have to take two repeals. One you have to rub with polythene, and bring it close to the charged repeal. so other repeal you have to bring to the charged repeal be careful not to touch the charged end with your hand so whatever the charge you have done you know so that not to touch with the hand otherwise that will loses the charge so is there any effect on the repeal in the tumblers so are you bored or have you noticed any changes here do the two attract each other whether they are repelling each other so you should observe that whether they are attracting or repelling repelling means move away from each other so the same experiment you have say same thing so you have noticed in the two magnets whenever you are bringing the like poles so they move away each other opposite poles attract each other here also the same observation so in this activity we have brought close together the charged object that were made of the same material so here from this observation see these two observations we have done 
in polythene taken the same repel we have rubbed but uh, here we have not observed anything so means here you have observed that the material the same material the objects the charged objects that were made of the same material shows repel shows reflect what you are saying repel each other so what happens if the two objects or if two charged objects made of different material they see what observation you have done whenever you have used the same material they shows the repel they shows repel they move away from each other now you take so here the given what happens if two charged objects made of different materials suppose if we have used now different materials what result you will get let us find out so what the activity you say rub a repel and place it gently in a glass tumbler so rub it the repel then you have to keep in the glass tumbler and bring an inflated charge so you have to bring the charged balloon balloon you have to bring near the repel and observe that also you have to rub it so then unlike charges now here you will observe that unlike charges are attracting each other because you have used the different different materials not used the same materials okay both the charged materials only you have used after uh, rubbing both they get charged so then here shows that this observation here observation you will see that unlike charges attract each other okay got the idea students so like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other now let us summarize the observation whatever the observation we have done so we'll go with the now list wise so first one a charged balloon repel a charged balloon see both we have taken the same material charged balloon repelling a charged balloon so this is the one observation and second observation a charged repel repelled a charged repel because the same material both are with a repel repel only there also both are balloon balloon only now take here another observation is but a charged balloon attracted a charged repel see here the materials are different okay then your observation is here attraction so does it indicate that the charge on the balloon is of different kind from the charge on the refill so we say that there are two kinds of charges so from this we will come to know that there are two types of charges so we can say that the charges of the same kind repel each other while charges of the different kind attract each other okay this is the observation we have done so it is a convention to call the charge acquired by glass so you can make a got the idea that can go with the sign wise to call the charge acquired by the glass rod you have taken the glass rod when it is rubbed with the silk as a positive so the glass rod you have taken when rubbed with the silk so it shows a positive charge so you know that if the one is positive means the other kind of the charge is said to be negative correct or so here we have used the glass rod rubbed with the silk so that that acquires a positive charge so it is observed that when a charged glass rod is brought near a charged plastic straw so try to understand charged glass rod is brought near the charged plastic straw rubbed with the polythene there is an attraction between the two so charged rod rod is rubbed with the straw that is rubbed with the polythene so that shows an attraction so what do you think would be the kind of the charges of the plastic rod so then see there if there is a plastic straw that is a shows attraction means so what do you say about the charges your guess is that the plastic straw would carry a negative charge so correct or wrong because glass rod is a positive charge so you have taken plastic 
strong there is a negative charge so that is why both are opposite charge so that is why they attract each other okay got the idea this much now the electrical charges generated by rubbing are static so here what we have used by rubbing what are the charges what you got that charges we are saying static charges we are saying what charges static see The electrical charges generated by the rubbing are static, means they are not moving. They will be uh, what you are saying, stay as it is. Static means they are not, they do not move by themselves. So they will not move by themselves. So they will stay as it is. But when the charges are moving, they constitute an electric current. So whatever electric current, what we are noticing. So here the charges are moving, the flow of electrons. So you see the electric circuit at this round there, flow of electrons means there is a flow of charges. Okay, when charges move, they constitute an electric current. So then you can say that there is a current. So here you will get a shock. So you have been see that reading about the electric current in the class previous classes. the current in a circuit which makes a bulb glow see what is given here just try to understand the line the current in a circuit whenever you are passing the electric current in the circuit which makes a bulb glowing bulb is burning and the current or the current that makes a wire hot and also you will see that wires becomes hot okay that is nothing but a motion of charges so here the bulb is glowing and because why because because here the motion of charges and the wire becomes hot because of charges because of motion of charges so that is why moving charges constitutes the electricity okay moving charges are constituting or makes a electricity okay got the idea the charges what we have rubbed that one that is a static because here that will be a what you are saying static means they will not show any motion by themselves but in the electric flow they will the charges are moving themselves so that is why the current is passing means so you will get the shock in static you will not get a shock okay this is about of types of charges and their interaction so now what you learned there are two types of charges positive and negative or like charges and unlike charges when like charges brought nearer to them or similar charges like charges means similar charges for example you say positive positive or negative negative so both are similar charges they move away each other but when you brought opposite charges okay positive negative or maybe a negative positive whatever you take it should be opposite okay either it may be positive negative or it may be negative positive so they will attract each other so means there is a, an interaction between these two okay got the idea students so we will discuss remaining things in the next video thank you bye bye thank you for joining us